So, um, several of you have asked me about my wicking system or uh, my wicking bottle, as I think I might have referred to it. Um, there are many ways to create a wicking system and easiest thing I could tell you after I show you what I do is just to Google it. Um, uh, once you know the basic concept of it, it, the sky's the limit. You, you can come up with basically anything. Um, what I use is I live in Western Pennsylvania and we have a store uh, called the Dollar Tree. It's basically like a Dollar General or a Family Dollar. And I walked in one day and I saw on a shelf uh, something that I was curious what it was. And that's this here in front of me. And I realized by this middle band that it must unscrew, which it does. So, there's one little container, jar, whatever you want to call it threaded and then when you take apart this side you'll see a little container recessed down in there and this lid comes off and this was labeled as something for uh, a salad or snacks or lunch or something like that to take to work or school so I said, oh, well, if that little cup sits down in there, is recessed down onto that ledge, that might create a nice little wicking system if I were to drill a hole through the bottom of this to feed my wick up through. Well, then I said, well, I'm kind of out of luck on this side because I don't have anything to put there. But I got to thinking that I had seen for sale in the same store these little plastic cups. So I went over and I snuck one out of the bag. And sure enough, they are the same exact thing. So therefore, it's a two for one. Now, what I did when I came home is I took one of these. And right there on the little point from where the mold was, I drilled a hole. So if you'll give me a second with the drill and I pardon myself because this is loud, I'll make a little hole for you and show you what I do next. Sorry about the noise, guys. where I'd never used a drill in my life. So here, I have a little hole and there's some excess plastic around it and I just kind of peel that off. Now, I went out and got myself a regular old fashioned all cotton mop, mop head. Now, they do sell ones, I did buy one and it actually contains synthetic fibers, which will also work, but the surface tension against a synthetic fiber is not going to pull your water by capillary action as well as it will cotton. So what I did is I basically just cut the ends off the mop, and I had a few left that I had soaking in water from before. So I'll get one out of the bag here. So 
So here's, here's a wet one. And I'm just gonna trim that edge as flat as I can to make it easier to put up through the hole. Now, I turn mine as tight as I can counterclockwise so I have it as, as sharp as I can. I push that through there. And pull that in and I kind of push it over to the side of the cup and just make sure it's kind of against the uh, side of the cup. Now, I believe because I'm particular, my mother used to tease me about it. I cut this at about four inches because this is about the depth of that container I showed you earlier. So, this is what we have so far. So, I'm going to take this, and one of the key things to do is I use either distilled water that I buy at the store, or I go, we have a natural spring just down the road. So, I will fill this container about halfway until I get this container because I try and bring the level of the water right to the base of the little cup. There, that should be good. Now, this is what I was using with strict perlite in it that I showed you in the photographs. So of course, here's perlite. And I just filled this just about a, the whole about up to about a quarter of an inch left. And then I just created a little furrow with my pinky finger, pencil, whatever. And I set the leaf blade in there and I um, just gently pushed it back against the blade of the leaf. And then I do water it a little bit so as to see it's not, you know, a puddle in there. And then I let the wick will draw up moisture through the capillary action and keep that perlite at a constant temperature. And then, not that it's anyone's business, but I have problems with my kidneys, so I have to drink a lot of Gatorade and I decided just to cut the bottle bottoms of a Gatorade bottle off and now I have a humidity dome. So that's all it is, all there is to it. So I hope that helps. I know these materials aren't available to any everybody, but like I said, just Google wicking system, wicking method, anything with wicking. And it doesn't, this does not just pertain to begonias. This, this pertains to a wide variety of plants. So just, just have some fun out there because like I said, once you get the concept down, the sky's the limit. You, 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 can, you can design anything. So hope this works. Have fun.